So I, I'm talking La Nina right now, and that's where we are with our weather phase at this point. We're either in an El Nino across the globe, an El Nino, La Nina, or an Enso neutral phase. And I, I did this last night at 10 o'clock, and, yep. and I, I'm sure that all of you at home watched us at 10 o'clock last night, but if there's one or two of you that didn't, I'm going to do it again right now. <laughs> I, I did find, I did, actually, all kidding aside, I spent a lot of time looking this I information know, so up. so 60 years of I data, went, right? I went back 60 yeah. years, and I found 10, so we're going to have a weak La Nina winter. Okay. And so when you have weak La Nina winters, and there were 10 of those in the last 60 years, what was the result that winter? That's what I'm going to share with you. So take a look at this. And here's the, here's the uh, ENSO outlook through the winter months. Remember uh, meteorological winter, December, January, and February. So right now we're in a weak La Nina. We stay there next month. And then as we head into January or December, we're still there. We're starting to trend out of it, trending toward an ENSO neutral phase. And then we, uh, we're February's kind of in the same area. So a weak, weak La Nina in the forecast as we head through this upcoming winter. So when I went back and looked at the last 60 years, again, I found 10 of those winters that had very similar La Nina. So what was the result? Because if you have a, a result and it's conclusive, then that'll give you a really good indication as to what this upcoming winter will look like. So that's where I was going with my thought process. Temperatures, the last uh, 10 weak La Ninas, six of them were warmer than normal, four of them were cooler than normal. Rainfall, five were wetter than normal, five were drier than normal. Snowfall, four were above normal with snow, five were below normal with snow, one was normal with snowfall totals. Freezes, three had uh, more freezes than normal, and seven had, uh, there were seven with fewer than normal freezes. You follow me? You see where I'm going with this? That was completely, I thought I'd have some hard and fast numbers to share with you. The, the numbers are certainly, but the conclusions, Horrible. I mean, it's really a flip a coin. I mean, who knows where we're going to go? So then I'm like, I thought, well, that'll give me just a good indication of this upcoming winter, but it didn't. It just confused things even more. So looking at the latest model data, this is my upcoming forecast for this winter. Above normal temperatures, warmer than normal precip, below normal precip, drier than normal. Warmer than normal winter this year, drier than normal winter this year, which is what September was but it looks like that trend continues as we head through the next several months. Today and outside right now, it's 90 degrees at Fair Park. Look at big techs looking down. As you, if you're heading out to the fair tonight, 87 degrees here shortly, 83 degrees at 8 p.m., 79 degrees at 9 o'clock tonight. A little on the warm side, but it's certainly not hot. Uh, should be relatively comfortable with light winds. High today was 91. The morning low was 69. The normals, 84 and 63. We've been as hot as 102 all the way back in 1979. As cool as 42, 1984. 89 outside right now with a light wind out of the north northeast at 3. Pollen today, ragweed is high. Elm is moderate and fungus today. That's on the low side. I have clear skies out there right now, and as you look at these uh, uh, temperatures as we head through the uh, next five days through Monday. I wish I had some better news to share, but it's really more of the same. Temperatures continue to run above normal. The normal highs now through Monday of next week range anywhere from 84 to 83 to 82 degrees, and we'll have temperatures that'll be anywhere from 6 to 8 degrees warmer than normal. Saturday, 6 above normal. Sunday is 7 above normal. So we're going to hover right around the 90 degree mark, give or take a degree or so, right around the 90 degree mark for at least the next five days and a little bit of a cool down after that. Not much of one, but a tiny one. 68 is the low tonight. Pretty pleasant temperatures, light winds tonight. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow, a very warm day. Light winds out of the east at 5 to 10. 92 is the high tomorrow. There's the next 14 days. And there we go. There's your cool down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Remember, I said it was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny cool down. That's it. Hold on, let's look at Thursday. 89. So, I mean, there's not much of one, but it's better than 91 or 92. And then when you look at uh, next weekend, of course, that's the Allstate Red River rivalry. Saturday's 91, Sunday's 92. So this weekend's warm, the following weekend's warm. And there are two days where we have a little chance of rain, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. It'll be a washout, complete washout. 